So welcome to Dynamic Fonty Group. Today we are going to see a small video on effect of high phosphorus. I am Sandeep Kulkarni, business mentor from Kolhapur. Welcome you to this small video section from Dynamic Fonty Group. Phosphorus eutectic. Phosphorus eutectic forms hard inclusion in its structure. The result shows that increasing phosphorus in grey cast iron increases the amount of eutectic phosphide which weakens the mechanical properties like tensile strength get reduced, impact strength get reduced and increases the hardness of casting. Phosphorus stabilizes cementite, it causes brittleness and due to which elements are to be limited to minimum quantity. The limits in grey cast iron for phosphorus should be 0.08 to 0.1% max, whereas in ductile iron it should be 0.04 to 0.05% max. Sources for the phosphorus eutectic or for the phosphorus, it is from the scrap or it is from the ferrophosphorus, especially in the old machinery scrap like structural scrap like window sheets, old machinery beds or railway sleeper, the content or the amount of phosphorus content is very high. So we have to be very careful while selecting the scrap for the melting section. Eutectic of iron phosphide that Fe3P which affects the machinability of the casting results in phosphorus eutectic. So we face issues related to poor machinability, hard spot and microporosity due to high percentage of phosphorus in the melt in both grey cast iron as well as in ductile iron. So it is very important to control phosphorus in the given range or grade limit for both grey cast iron as well as in ductile iron. These are the, some of the photos of the phosphorus eutectic seen in the microstructure or the matrix in the microstructure of the casting in grey cast iron as well as in ductile iron. So this is from my side. Thank you very much for your patient hearing and hope you understand this concept of high phosphorus and the effect of it on the mechanical properties and the defect in grey cast iron and in ductile iron as well. So hope you will be following these instructions, following this information to avoid such issues in your castings. Thank you very much for your patient hearing.